I admit it, another hoe got me finished Broke my heart, oh no you didn't Fuck sipping, I'ma down a whole bottle Heart It was a normal day for Gumball and Darwin And it was the weekend So they didn't have to go to school they wanted to spend their weekend by playing video games and sleeping. And not thinking about school at all. And when it was Saturday, they did exactly that. Eventually, on Saturday night, Gumball and Darwin were both eating dinner with the rest of their family. The Watersons were sitting at the dinner table talking about random things when all of a sudden an important news announcement came onto the TV. They then heard what the news anchor said and it made them terrified. The news anchor said that people in Elmore were being infected by some sort of plague and were becoming flesh-eating monsters and that after they became infected they would try and find somebody that's not infected and rip them to shreds and the news anchor then said to stay indoors at all cost after the news announcement had finished the Watersons were scared, but they decided the best thing to do would be to stay indoors inside their house. And then they heard a scream outside and someone yelling, help me. And then they heard some sort of growl type of noise. Eventually, didn't hear the person yelling for help anymore. Nicole said that the best thing to do would be to go to bed. And so that's what all of them did. A couple of days had passed and all of them were still reeling from the fact that people in Elmore were becoming zombies. And while the Watersons were eating dinner that night, they heard a pounding at the door. The pounding turned into slams on the door. The Watersons knew they had to leave their house. So they ran to their back door, which led to their backyard. But their backyard was surrounded by zombies. They then ran to the front door, where it was knocked and slammed down. And zombies started to walk their way into the Watersons' house. They then ran upstairs, knowing that that was the only way out. But as they were running up the stairs, Richard and Nicole were both grabbed and dragged into the large crowd of zombies that was in their living room. Then Gumball, Darwin, and Anais saw their parents eaten alive and eventually die. They knew they had to get out of there or they would suffer the same fate. The three of them got to their bedroom and uh, open up the window to get out on the ledge of the roof. Once they did, Anais slipped and fell off into the crowd of zombies. Gumball and Darwin yelled for her, but it was already too late, as the zombies were feasting on her, and she was eventually killed as well. Gumball and Darwin were now the only ones of their family left. They then saw zombies coming into their room and knew that they had to jump. And so when it was clear 
They jumped down on the ground and started running away from what was left of their home. As they were running, they looked and saw what had become of Elmore. It was in complete chaos. Cars on fire, bodies littered all over the street, and zombies everywhere. As they were running, a zombie that was laying on the floor grabbed Darwin's ankle and bit him. Darwin screamed in pain, and Gumball saw that his brother had been bit. Gumball kicked away the zombie and began to run away with Darwin limping away. Darwin knew he didn't have much time. And when the two of them looked behind them, they saw a large horde of zombies coming right for them. Then Darwin knew what he had to do. He said goodbye to his brother and ran straight into the horde of zombies. They began to eat and tear away at Darwin's flesh. And after only about a minute, Darwin had been brutally killed. Gumball was now the only one of his family left alive. He didn't know what to do or where to go. So he decided to just start running. And as he was running, he saw his friends as zombies. Most of them were dead or were eating one another. And he realized he had come across the school. Gumball realized that they must have ran there for safety, but when they saw a large horde of zombies, it was already too late. And that's when he saw them. Gumball saw what remained of his family as zombies and they began to walk towards him and his friends who were zombies began to walk towards him as well and eventually they started to surround Gumball and at this point Gumball realized he had no way out so he could do nothing else but just to accept his fate. The zombies closed in and began to eat and tear away at Gumball's flesh. And eventually Gumball was killed as well. Joining his friends after Gumball and mostly everybody in the town's deaths. The zombies would start to eat and infect the remaining survivors and eventually everybody in the town of Elmore would eventually be turned into flesh eating monsters.